Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jordan here with Myco Pals. Just coming by today to talk a little bit about this culture media here, uh, malt dextrose agar with peptone. It might be one that you guys have heard about, maybe not, uh, but it's always good to change up your culture media from time to time to help keep your strains going strong. So uh, this one, it basically just has malt. Uh, malt is a uh, extract from a thing called wort that's used in the alcohol brewing process. It's basically a nutrient for your fungal culture. Um, I got this formula out of the FDA's Bacteriological Analytical Mag uh, Manual. You can find it online. Just type in FDA BAM. It's got all kinds of different formulas in there for uh, what they deem good uh, formulas for fungal cultures, yeasts, and all that other stuff. Um, it could be of use to you. You can try out some formulas you find on there, make them up yourself, and experiment and see what you like the best. Um, but they they'll give you like a percentage, and you can figure out you know how to build this stuff on your own, or you can buy it from me or anybody else online. They've got uh, stuff like this. It comes ready in a bag. That way you don't have to have this bulk ingredient, these bulk ingredients sitting around. And uh, malt, is specifically, when you're working with it, it gets real sticky. It'll stick to s mixing spoons and other things like that. If it's a humid environment or if it gets exposed to any moisture, uh, you got to work with it kind of fast. So it'll help it uh, from being so sticky. Um, this also has dextrose in it. I use corn, uh, corn sugar, and uh, it's basically just simple glucose. That's another nutrient for your fungal culture. Uh, it's got agar in it as a gelling agent, standard, uh, it's derived from red algae. Um, that'll just help keep it all together in the petri dish and it'll give you that solid appearance to your culture. Um, it's also got peptone in it. Peptone, the stuff that I use right here is a soy-based peptone. It's derived from uh, soybean meal and that's just basically another nutrient that's going to help you get a strong and vigorous culture going. But uh, I've also got potato dextrose agar back there. You can see it. It's in a blue color. If you want to get any of this um, in blue, I got this available in blue as well. Uh, that'll help you with the visibility in your culture so that you can see stuff going on a little easier. Uh, I really like the MDA peptone. I've been selling a lot of it, so a lot of people are having a good experience with it, I imagine. I haven't got too much feedback, so if you do get this, let me know how it goes for you. I'm sure you're going to have a good uh, good experience with it. But you can find it on www.mycopals.com and you can find it on the eBay uh, username MycoPals. So uh, this bag will give you about 180 plates if you pour about 20 to 25 milliliters per, which is about standard. And uh, a bag of potato dextrose agar. It's got potato starch, dextrose, and agar in it. Uh, be about 180 plates total. So. Um, both, they'll go a long way. Uh, if you wanted to make like 20 plates, you can do that. If you wanted to make the whole bag at once, you could do that too. But uh, go check it out. Give your cultures a little something different to chew on. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one.